Good evening, folks. Oh, what's going on, Earthmaster here, jumping in on this beautiful Thursday evening. April 1st, 2021 is the date. Taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe shows a uh, 4.3 out here in the uh, Indonesia Islands area. Kind of seen an uptick in earthquake activity out there. I'm going to go over here to the uh, live seismographs there on the bottom side. Still seeing some uh, activity there at the Alia Permanent Station there in Hawaii monitoring activity at Mauna Loa. Also some earthquake activity showing up on the micro level range there in Mendocino, California at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, so further uh, movement along the west coast is uh, looking, looking uh, current as we speak. Here is the latest surface map there, 2.5 and above. We'll go ahead and add the all magnitudes on to, uh, to add a few more quakes here. Looking up here to the north, Northern California, still seeing that, uh, well, I believe that 3.0 is from uh, yesterday. Should be uh, dropping off the uh, uh, the 24-hour the, uh, window period here pretty soon. This one here, I believe, I can't remember if that was, uh, I think this was last night as well because we were looking at activity inland into the Cascadia Megathrust Zone, uh, but still notable uh, to mention that. A little bit of further newer movement up here into the, uh, well, up into, uh, <laughs> further up into the Cascadia Fault. This one, a uh, pretty shallow quake, a 2.1, but just goes to show you the, uh, uh, the sign of uh, impending pressure out here along the Cascadia and the Pacific Northwest. Uh, definitely continued movement today. Not as active in Southern California as we've seen yesterday, a little bit of earthquake activity around the concrete jungles of LA. You can see one right smack dab right around Huntington Park, a 3.0 at 13 kilometers below surface, pretty deep. Not for certain if anybody felt this earthquake, but there is a, looks like, looks, <laughs> looks like quite a few folks there uh, reported feeling that. Uh, yeah, quite a few all over the place. Los Angeles area, mostly uh, Huntington Park area uh, reported feeling that earthquake there. Uh, other than that, a new earthquake here to the southeast, south of Pomona. Uh, let's see which specific fault this is on. Just off of the Ellensnor Fault. Um, and the other one, that's kind of an interesting one right there because I don't see any specific fault structures around it. Not saying there isn't any, but it's possible we just haven't discovered um, undiscovered fault system around there. I know there's quite a few of them. California is mixed in with all sorts of uh, uh, fault systems all over the place, discovered and undiscovered. Uh, so worth watching that region. Southern Cal, a little bit of increase in the uh, San Jacinto fault area. Um, activity dying down there south of the border, south of Mexicali, where we've seen an increase in activity there along the Imperial Fault structure. Uh, that has since, uh, like I said, kind of dying down there with the latest a 2.6 earthquake strike in the region within the last 24 hours. Uh, Nevada still seeing uh, some movement up there scattered around the desert. Also some movement along the Long Valley Fault uh, zone, which is the uh, well Long Valley Super Volcano. Not a whole lot of movement, but there's still microquakes popping off there and one right smack dab at the Mono Lake area. 1.6, a little microquake popping off there. Um, into Oregon, uh, we mentioned that one on the Cascadia. Uh, a little bit of activity around Mount Rainier and up here around Seattle as well. Uh, another deep earthquake, 1.1 magnitude quake at 16 kilometers. Uh, overall, looks like activity has died down a little bit. I have not checked the trimmer map yet, but we will here in just a second. Uh, moving over here to the east into the southern plains, a little bit of movement in Oklahoma, nothing to write home about. Uh, and some further movement out here around the Pecos, Texas area. Of course, this is, uh, it's been kind of a, it's been happening for quite a while out there. I remember earthquake activity popping off here within this region last year, and I even think the year before that. Uh, fracking operations, yes, they're all over the place out here. You can see them from 30,000 feet very easily. Uh, and you can see them on the Google Earth globe as well. But uh, something's going on out here. I don't believe it's volcano related, but the depth's roughly about uh, seven kilometers or so below surface. Uh, largest quake so far in this little uh, uptick in uh, Texas is a 3.9 there. Um, 
out there in the area uh, of uh, the Pecos, Texas region. Other than that, let's go ahead and shoot around the globe here real quick. Uh, Western Pacific still hasn't seen any type of significant movement up here. Uh, pretty much talking uh, about, uh, well, I would say Guam northward into the uh, uh, Japan Trench area up through the Aleutian Islands, still looking for some uh, potential significant movement. Uh, we did see this uh, activity 6.5 and the 6.0 earlier. 5.6, uh, the latest to shake the region, a little aftershock there, uh, right smack dab um, underneath that 6.5. We haven't seen any more significant deep movement here in the Tonga Trench, so just kind of playing this by ear, seeing what happens. There has been a little uptick over here around the Indonesia area where we've seen that, uh, of course, the latest quake. Well, it looks like it bounced back over there to Hawaii. Um, but uh, a little bit of movement along the uh, Indonesia area, stretching up, potentially up to the Philippines area. Um, not quite there yet, but I'm sure that's going to be uh, increasing there as the day and night uh, progresses. Over towards the Middle East, the Mediterranean Sea region. Uh, Middle East, pretty quiet. Mediterranean Sea, just a couple small earthquakes there south of Athens, southeast of Athens, uh, 4.7 and also 4.8. Up here in Algeria, other than that, a uh, little little quake down here. South America, pretty quiet looking at uh, movement along the Peru-Chile Trench. Nothing big there. Uh, I believe that was, uh, yeah, 4.3, 52 kilometers. And that uh, activity there, the South Sandwich Islands, 5.1 out there. Let's go over to Hawaii real quick, cover some movement there because they're still having some swarming going on. It's still, still shaking and baking out there. Hopefully not baking yet, but uh, hey, bacon sounds kind of good. Uh, there's that little swarm there over the last 24 hours. We're looking at 18 earthquakes kind of dwindling down a tad bit uh, from the well over over a couple hundred earthquakes that we had seen over the past couple days uh, We'll go ahead and get a grand total all magnitudes here. We're looking at uh, well 199 earthquakes over the last seven days here uh, near Mauna Loa and it's still kind of it was still kind of in this little area right there um, no major earthquakes, but you know, it's just all it takes is a good sized swarm like that to get things uh, really rumbling there around the Mauna Loa area. Still kind of monitoring that activity or that uh, volcano for future activity. But today, uh, like I said, just kind of quieting down a tad bit. The multitudes are dying down. Uh, we had seen a little uptick south here into the southwest drift zone, rift zone. Uh, a couple more sizable quakes, 3.1 and a 2.4 away from the swarming area, but still located within the Mauna Loa volcano area. Of course, this whole thing is, is a volcano, uh, still pretty close to the Caldera region. And some further movement down here in the southeast part of the island, uh, as we've seen uh, in, the, in the past months, in the uh, past year or so. Uh, what do we got for trimmer? Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. I'm sure it's updated now. Uh, they normally update it around 6.30 my time, April 1st, April Fool's Day. Still some significant movement here, folks, in Northern California. Uh, this has been going on for day three or day four now of the trimmer into Northern California. Today we're looking at 442 epicenters of trimmer. Um, stretching up from the Vancouver area, Vancouver Island area, down into Northern California where it's mostly clustered there. Uh, some uptick there in Southern Oregon. And also we haven't seen a whole lot of movement um, and the Vancouver Island ranges there, this island, it's been relatively quiet compared to the rest of the Cascadia. But now, today, we've seen some new movement there along Vancouver Island there, which is the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, so definitely some uh, further slippage and further increase in pressure along the locked section there of the uh, Cascadia, uh, Cascadia subduction zone. What else we got, folks? Um, solar weather is pretty quiet as of right now, but I did want to bring up um, something that happened about 20 years ago. And I don't remember this at all for some reason. For, for, for whatever reason, this is not in my brain. And I would have I would have remembered this, but it's not. it seems weird. weird. Uh, do you guys remember this? About uh, 20 years ago, March 2001, uh, there was a pretty good uh, solar geomagnetic storm. Uh, it was a... AR9393 was the bigger, biggest sunspot of solar cycle 23. 
Um, it was pretty, uh, I guess it was visible to the naked eye, the sunspot was. A crackling with X-class flares, something that we haven't seen in quite a while. Check out that sunspot, AR9393, 20 years ago. That is impressive. If you take a look, folks, let me show you real quick. The We'll get to those pictures here in just a second. Let's go over to uh, a different window here. I want to show you guys some stuff. Um, that's the sun right now. And it's been like that for quite a while in this solar minimum. But 20 years ago, we had sunspots all over the place. And I remember back then um, chatting on some CB radio and, and shooting the skip. Uh, talking to people in Tennessee and Alabama from California. Uh, solar sunspots play a major, major role in uh, radio interference and CB skip. AR9393 was a significant sunspot. It hurled a pair of CMEs directly towards the Earth. Um, and there was a uh, well, G5 registering the maximum value of G5 on the uh, NOAA storm scales. There was auroras and uh, visibility of the auroras all the way down to Mexico. So in Northern California, I probably would have seen it, but I don't know what I was doing back then. I mean, I do, but I don't remember why I didn't hear about this. Uh, Northern Lights, like I mentioned, spread as far south as Mexico in 20-year-old notes. Uh, they've seen red and green auroras dancing for hours over the Sierra Nevada mountains here in California. Uh, similar displays were seen in Houston, Texas, Denver, Colorado, and San Diego, California, uh, Arizona. Check out that picture there in Arizona. Unbelievable. That's pretty awesome, let me tell you. Uh, 20 years ago. Man, who knows when we'll see that again. There is a really cool article, folks. I would suggest you check it out. It's on spaceweather.com. They have it straight up there on their page, a main, the, uh, the main article. And there is a link to a bunch of pictures, user-submitted pictures of the auroras from all over the place. Alaska, West Texas, Arizona, New Zealand. Check out that, New Zealand. Uh, Washington, Houston, Idaho Falls, um, all over the place. Germany, France, unbelievable. I really wish I would have paid attention back then, but I'm not for sure what happened. <laughs> but go check it out. Like I said, they provide a link, and uh, it's definitely worth checking out all these uh, pictures there if you have a moment. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, let's go ahead and check out the overview of the seismographs throughout the park there. And it uh, looks pretty... Uh, calm for the most part no major quakes to report we are st still seeing uh some movement around the borehole area with some small microquaking taking place there you can see those little spikes indicating uh, microquake activity very microquake but since then over the past couple hours we've looked at things calm down and looking at the rest of the park only a couple small earthquakes in the northeast park northeast part of the park near parker park parker peak man there's a whole bunch of peas there uh, I'm not even going to attempt to try that again. Uh, in the Eastern Park, like I mentioned there, uh, um, other than that, we're not seeing too much in the way of uh, major uh, swarming going on. So, uh, hope everyone has a good night, folks. Like I said, go check it out on solarweather.com. They got a pretty cool article on that 20 year, uh, that event 20 years ago on that geomagnetic storm there that sparked, sparked auroras all the way down to Mexico. All right, folks, have a good night. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there. Peace out, everyone. Have a good night.